What's up, everybody? Chris Moore here from Barbell Shrugged and the Barbell Buddha Podcast. I want to talk quickly some tips about pressing and push pressing and jerking. How do you get better? Well, first things first, like anything, you can do it more often. Uh, coming out of a powerlifting background, this is one of the most frustrating things for me because I'm just not very good at it. So how do I get better? I do it all the time now. I try to go overhead, either snatching, uh, pressing, incline pressing, all this sort of stuff, at least three times a week. That helps, but always there's a but. And what's the but? Sometimes you stall and you get frustrated. So that's when some tips and tricks and variants can help you push through those plateaus. So after a couple years of struggling with going overhead, I think I found three things that really do seem to help make a big difference. I think they'll help you out. First things first, you can back the weight down on all three of those lifts, the jerk, the push, press, and the press, and make speed and position your focus for a little while. So if it's the jerk, you're working on quick, sharp dips, you work on good overhead position, on pressure, working on good posture and good strong finishes, and the push press kind of a difference between those. So doing lots of sets, eight sets, 10 sets of one, two, three reps, you get a lot of quick, good, short practice. So speed work really does help. The second cool thing I found is that for an assistance lift, you can do lots of incline pressing. <clears throat> so what I do is I just prop a bench up on a plow box with a little bit of rubber so it doesn't slide. I spread my feet out so I get in a good strong position with my legs. I make it as steep as I can. I just bring the bar down, pause, and just push it up. Sets of five, sets of three, after my pressing on a day of its own. That lift, the incline press, can really, really help you get more comfortable get stronger arms, and it transfers over to the push press and the jerk and the, jerk and the press really well, I found. Also, a good thing about the incline press, it'll help you bench press more, but the bench press doesn't typically help you a whole lot on the incline press or going overhead, so the incline press is a really good thing. The third thing, maybe the best thing I've found for assistance, things that help you get better at putting weight overhead, handstand holds. Ever since Carl Pioli put his arms around me and, and I felt his embrace, I've been a big believer of this exercise before, that's a joke, but before I never saw the utility of it. But the good thing about doing a handstand is you gotta learn to put yourself in a really good position or else you can't hold that position. So let me show you real quick how I do it. I'm a big guy, so it won't be the prettiest thing in the world, but this can really help you. So you can start off with just holding a push-up position, right? So for that's a scale version. If you want to make it harder, you just slowly start to walk yourself up. And you can just hold it there. But be careful because you don't have any spots or get a spotter. And as you get stronger, you can work up with the goal of getting your belly right against the wall. Now for me, I've got to have my shoulders in a good position or else I can't hold this. I've got to really focus on holding my locker or else I'm gonna fall face first into the face first into the concrete. So I hold, I hold, I hold. I time this. I try to go a little further each time. Two to three sets is all I need. And as I get to where I'm gonna break, I note my time. I carefully walk out. <laughs> if I wanna finish it, I can do some push-ups. Oh, but if you get good at that, you don't need dumbbell side raises. You don't need any of the swing shit. All you need to do is snatch, put the bar overhead, and do that, you're gonna have a strong press. <laughs> See you next time, guys.